Let's transform this old dresser into a gorgeous bathroom vanity with caboodle. First, I removed all the old hardware and sanded back the surface so that it was smooth. As the dresser was too low for a bathroom vanity, I needed to extend it so that it would be countertop height. I did that using the wood that I had in the shed, so a lot of it had to be cut down and trimmed with a table saw. I added height to both the top of the dresser and to the bottom so that the additional space between the countertop and the base of the drawers would be the same. I sanded back everything very smooth after filling in all the gaps, of which there were a lot. I also extended the legs themselves, which in total would bring the top of the vanity to 900 mils. As I extended the legs, I cut a 45 degree angle on the edge so that the extension would blend seamlessly into the leg itself. I then sanded the whole cabinet, giving it a smooth surface so that I could move on to altering the drawers. I needed to remove the middle section of the drawers so that there was space for the pipe to go through the middle of the cabinet. I didn't want to have to rebuild the drawers completely, but I may as well have. Once the drawers had been changed internally, I could then put a face on the drawers that would cover the additional height that I added. I then added a little extra trim around the edge of the new drawer faces, matching the shape of the legs. Once I cleaned and dusted, I used sugar soap and washed it all down. I filled in all the gaps and then I prepared it for painting. I used bin for the primer and linen white chalk paint for the top coat. Once the cabinet was all painted, I was then able to add the caboodle hardware and the countertop. This was a huge learning experience for me as I had never done a recessed sink before. Once I cut the hole for the sink, I was silly enough to add the silicon before cutting the hole for the mixer. I was just too excited to see what it would look like. The mixer was too close to the edge of the cabinet itself, so I had to cut out a chunk of that before I could install it fully. And here it is, all finished. Now I just need to finish the bathroom and connect it all.